So today, as promised, we have a tutorial for all you photography aficionados, and it's an application called Time Lapse. What it essentially does is it allows you to take a series of pictures over time and then string them together into a sort of movie, if you will. Um, here you can see the application. When it starts up, you'll see this screen. This screen pretty much allows you to customize your time lapse. It allows you to set how often you, your phone takes a picture from one second to a minute. Um, or, as you'll see in a second, you can change it from one minute to an hour. Um, that's the maximum amount of time in between pictures, but unless you're taking a time lapse over, say, the course of a couple months, you're not really going to want a time lapse longer than an hour in between pictures anyway. So for our purposes, um, every s couple seconds is perfect. Um, here you can see I have it set to four and then you can change the quality of the pictures. Obviously this is phone dependent as some phones cameras can't go as high as other ones. Um, and then you can set the playback rate of your video that you record. Once you set all those options you click ready and it'll change to landscape mode and although you can't see it in this tutorial in that black box you'll be able to see what your camera is, is looking at. Then you simply click the start button as you can see in the top left or now the top right of the video it says that it's capturing images um, once you're done say you have a sufficient number of images or you think that you know you have enough to make your time lapse you just click stop and it'll go to my time lapses and I'm not a hundred percent sure but for some reason if you try to play it or upload it immediately the application will actually crash and force close um, don't worry though because once you open the application your work is saved here you can see it says force close or wait here you can see I clicked wait which didn't really do anything for me um, so it'll force close and all you have to do is just reopen it and you'll see that your time lapses are still saved as you can see I have two I have one of the fish tank that I have and the one that I just recorded now which obviously you couldn't see for the purposes of this tutorial we'll just look at the fish tank one um, as it's already completed. And you can see this is a basic time lapse. The video is actually playing faster than it appears here. However, because the tutorial program that I'm using can't record that fast, it looks like it, it's a lot slower. Um, I'll post another video showing just the time lapse so you can see what it actually looks like. Um, also, the quality is a lot higher. As you can see, it's a 33 megabyte file. So once you upload it, you are going to want to delete it. But, um, I mean, depending on your phone memory, it's not too big. And here you can see all the different places you can upload it to. I found the most success uploading it to Dropbox. Some of you won't have it. And the problem with not using Dropbox is that applications such as Gmail just don't have the storage space necessary. Um, you obviously can't send a file with a 33 megabyte attachment. So... For that, I use Dropbox. You can also plug in your phone and use the USB connection. That's another option. But it's a pretty simple app, pretty handy. The results are much better than I in initially expected, actually. And um, that's about it. So check out the blog for any more videos about app reviews, tutorials. Feel free to send us an email to 2 guys one droid at gmail.com. And check us out on Facebook now. You can like us and become a fan on Facebook as well. That's all there is for today. Check back soon.